we're here at the cabin in Big Bear, and if I look exhausted, it's because I am. I decided for today's episode, I was going to do sort of a look back, and there are quite a few reasons. One, because I finished my Gen 1 Pokedex for North America, and I feel like that's sort of a good bookmark to look back and see how far we've come. Two, because I didn't really shoot much today because it was pretty much just packing up the car and the whole process of getting up here. I literally only opened Pokemon Go to check if we had any spawns or Pokestops here at the cabin. And three, because I feel like looking back at the beginning will help inspire me moving forward. And four also, because let's face it, there's not a lot of new content to be made right now. I think Reversal just did a very similar episode to this because he's probably in the same boat as I am. I also thought it would be a quick edit because I had all this stuff shot already, but on a regular day, I'll shoot maybe an hour or two of footage and cut that down into a 15 minute video. Today, I went through hundreds of hours of footage. So we really got up here to the cabin. I unpacked and I started editing and it's now 2.30 in the morning and I'm just finishing. So the rest of this video is just sort of a compilation of some of my favorite moments over the last six months of playing Pokemon Go. So enjoy this look back and let me know in the comments what some of your favorite moments have been over the last few months. Wow. Gotta shout out the channel. Trainer Tips, Nick. Boom. Oh, he got it, damn That's it, it, Nick. So when you see Trainer Tips, Nick, owning all the gyms in Los Angeles, or maybe like two or three of them. He's not, I, I play too. That's me. He's right there, look at this guy. Look at him. Uh-oh. Boom. It's gotta be yellow. Welcome to Team Yellow. So to battle, it's really simple. You just tap to use your fast attack, and that's it. I just defeated that Venonat. Servers have been experiencing issues all day. They've been up and down, and right now I'm getting that message. So maybe no gyms, but I'm still getting an acai bowl. Okay, watch this. Show me the last Pokemon I captured. How sick is that? Oh, there's a guy right there. Bam, what's up, dude? Just hold and click. Yeah. There you go. Obviously having a lot of trouble right now. I might never see a Pidgeot again. Oh well, at least I got a burrito. This is my little brother Chance. Hi. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. Not even a... Same here. Nothing. I don't even... This is like something I've always wanted in real life. Seems fitting. It'll always remind me of where I caught him. Even though I can just look on the map. I guess that doesn't tell me much. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering if you've seen any Pokemon around here today. Any, any what? Pokemon? Yeah, I see you back there. I just, oh, we I win. We did it. Okay. Nicholas Oizan and Juan Munoz are two Pokemon trainers who run a growing YouTube channel called Trainer Tips. All right, everyone, the Pikachu has appeared. You see that? Oh, yeah? Who told you that? Do not question me, Nick. The 10K is hatching. All right. Ready? Let's see what it is. It's an Eevee. For today's episode, I want to do some research. What do the footsteps under nearby Pokemon represent? Hello. Are you a Pokemon trainer? Yes. Oh, me too. What team are you? Team Blue. Good. Team Mystic. Are Good you job. Team Mystic? Yep. There you go. They came up with the channel after the game was launched. Already had 4 million views. Chance. Chance, we got 100,000 subscribers. What do you want to say to the people? Uh... Panic, panic, super panic. crazy right now. There's an Omastar on the screen. It's still here because I just got it on my radar, so let's see if we can see it. I'm too late. Looks like we're stuck on the loading mode and we're gonna miss out on an awesome opportunity. This is pretty much the state of the game right now. I'm going to take you guys to a nest that I found, but in order to do that, I need to go undercover. This should be good. 
If you click around, you can see they've listed nests for all kinds of different Pokemon. Um, which one do I throw my money in if I'm wishing for a perfect IV Lapras to hatch for my egg? Well, Secret Wish. Secret Wish. Secret wish. I'm going for Secret Wish. Hey, that counts. Secret Wish. Let's see if it works. When you're just starting your search and you have no idea where to begin, I recommend the Silph Roads web app. And, and that's you. That's, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Where's the Pokemon? Oh. Where's the Pokemon? Oh no, it's on you. <laughs> um, by the way, have you guys met my girlfriend Cassie? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Today, I have to catch a bunch of Dratini. I might have a little trouble with that because I'm here at a reported Dratini nest, but park's closed. On top of the park being closed, we're also hearing reports today that the species of Pokemon found in a specific nest might have changed. Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't choose this cemetery arbitrarily. This is where my grandfather's buried. We actually met here, like, 10 years ago almost, as roommates, right? Here. Back on that Asian food grind. By the way, quick shortcut I want to show you guys, in case you weren't aware. Instead of having to press twice, just swipe. Check it out. Three footprints. Remember when we had footprints? Yeah, that was the good time. We're going snorkeling again today. I'm gonna get another chance at trying to get a picture of a Pokemon underwater. Awesome. And apparently there's also a bunch of unmarked graves around here. So... Yeah, what's up, y'all? I don't know if I've told you guys this yet, but my favorite thing in the world is when clouds roll over the top of mountains like that. Okay, it's really happening, guys. This is what we came here for. Clefable. This is insane. I think, I mean, it's gotta be the moon. There he is. There he is. I'm gonna click on him now before it's too late. It's so windy. It's so windy up here. But this is the crater. Whoa, what? It better not run away from me. You got a great throw. Haunter so, 2? This is the spot up here at the top of a volcano. If you're looking for rare Pokemon, come to the top of a volcano. Wait, what? Blastoise? Blastoise! Uh, error. It's the worst part of any vacation putting all the stuff away. We're going on one last Pokemon hunt before we leave the condo because a Dratini appeared on the sightings and I've only caught two. We just made a bet to see who gets pooped on first. I hope it's not me. <laughs> so why then do I lose to a Vaporeon who's attacking at a much slower rate than I am and dealing much lower damage per second? The reason is because Jolteon's power comes from its speed stat. It has one of the highest base speed stats of any Pokemon in first generation. But in Pokemon Go, a Pokemon's speed stat means nothing. There it is. I have two choices now. Just get it. I'm in San Francisco, which is one of my favorite cities in the world. And the reason we came up here is actually to test out the new nearby Pokemon feature that Niantic is currently beta testing here in San Francisco only. I was gonna use the new uh, nearby feature, but here it is, Grimer. My first Grimer. You know, Grimer was the first wild Pokemon I encountered in the beta. Through the entire beta, I never saw another one. I didn't catch that first one, it ran away from me. Cassie's buddy Pokemon should be pretty obvious. 
<laughs> in Pokemon Go, they're all extremely underpowered, but the formulas could be designed in a way that retains some of the Pokemon's originally intended power. Okay, bye. Thanks for the ride. Today, I crashed my car. We're on Coronado Island today, which is like Pokemon Island down here in San Diego. We have my cousin Jared as a tour guide. Cassie. <laughs> this haunter is haunting this hotel. I'm gonna take a second to take a photo of it, but then I'm gonna catch it. It's finally here. Pokemon Go Plus. All right, we're here at the lake, Big Bear Lake. Those are docks. And the water's way down here. Don't let anyone tell you the drought is over in California. But if I find out that Cheeto spoofed his way to Australia <laughs> to get this, I'm gonna be pretty upset. But here it is, my first time battling a Kangaskhan. For the first time in my life, to train a gym right, with a Rattata. I did it. I trained a gym with Rattata. It'll show you reports for every species all at once. I broke the Silph Road again. So let's go this way first. Oh my god! I've fallen and I can't get up! Is this even gonna make the final cut? Probably not. We've been here for like 10, 15 minutes trying to get this gym because it changes hands so quickly. But we have Armin and Nikki here from the Netherlands and they just dropped, well, one Mr. Mime here in the gym so I can actually have a chance to battle against it. Hopefully I can get in before uh, someone takes it again. Parasect, of course. Well, let's go. This will be my first ever Mr. Mime battle. I'm interested in the Lickitung. Taking their sweet time back there. I'm just gonna go ahead and look for it and I'll let you know if I find it. Well, no Lickitung. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me see that. Holy crap. 61.69. And then I also found this guy. Bam. Gasly. Who's that? That's, that's Gasly. He's like a fart guy. Wait, wait. Oh my god! Okay. <gasps> we need to... Oh we need to... God. Did they say it's there? I don't know. They look like they're catching something. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Mine is... 114. This is 100. Tomorrow's 101. And it'll be just as important. So, probably not gonna do anything special for this one. Today's the day. Bulbasaur date is finally happening. You got it? Yeah. It's <laughs> a CP. Ready? What happened? It's time to put my costume on. It's unibrow. Where are you? This is actually the first Gengar I've seen during this event, so kind of exciting for me. I already see it. Not here, but look at that. When's the last time I saw a silhouette on the sightings? What's going on, man? Nice to meet you. You too. How was your plane ride? I found him. What's up? <laughs> this is my first time really stepping outside in Japan. I have no idea where we're going. You guys, this is it. It's been what, four months since this game came out? Yeah. yeah. First one? Four months and this is it. I don't even see it. This is my CP40, first one. man. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. CP40. You got it? 2027. Was it any catch bonus? No. Garbage. No! Oh. Let's make this happen. This is what we came here for. Nah. <laughs> they wouldn't put it in the middle? Yeah, they wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they they would. Would. yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. Right? It's, it's, there's it's a it's drop it's right there. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Is that <laughs> What he's holding? I was eating earlier. <laughs> <laughs> How many Lapras did we catch today? Look at this. Pokemon Center to Hoku. I think I went a little crazy in there. And there it is. This is Farfetch number four. So as soon as trading comes out, I have a couple to offer 
to my friends and family back home. I I, I don't have it. Lore. I got it. I finally got it. Oh my god. No? Yes. Yes. No, yes. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. We finally got it. Animal style fries. Yep. There goes Johnny on his way home, and we are going in and out because you can't come to California and not eat in and out. You cannot. So with this. And then I evolve my grammar. Um, I have a complete first generation Pokedex for North America. Nope. Got it. <gasps> yes. Oh. Is that gonna, excited enough for you guys? Gonna... We're somewhere in the San Gabriel Mountains in the Angeles National Forest. Check out this sunset. That is like a proper southern sunset. <laughs> 